Okay, so I'm going to do a quick video on uh, relativization. I'm trying to do this really quick. Okay, so we're going to take a ring R. It's a ring, commutative ring. Uh, and then we're going to take a ring endomorphism, like so. And then I'm going to make an abusive notation. And I'm going to denote by sigma the, the, also the map induced on schemes. Okay. And, um, okay, so now I'm going to give you a definition. Uh, so the definition here is going to be of x sigma. Okay. And the idea is, is that we have a, a scheme x over r. So we start, start with a, a scheme x over r. Okay. And what you can do is you can take sigma here. And you can, uh, there's, this, there's this map here. And what you can do is just form this fiber product. So this is the twist of x. This is what I'll call the twist of x uh, by sigma. There's all sorts of uh, uh, twists of x, okay? And this is defined by the fiber diagram. The scheme uh, over r uh, defined by the fiber diagram uh, by fiber diagram. Okay, so the reason I'm making this video is, is um, let, me, let me stop for a second. Okay, so the reason I'm making this video is because um, uh, there's, you can go blue in the face. Okay, so let's take X to be a spec of a ring. So spec A. Okay, and let's define, uh, okay, so then in this case, uh, A sigma looks like spec of, okay, so now it looks weird. So we have a tensor product, and then we have a uh, over r with respect to sigma of r. Okay, so here uh, you can kind of go blue in the face to see what these rules are. So let's define some notation. So notation. Okay, so we'll let this thing here. Uh, so first notation bit is that a sigma will be defined to be equal to this thing. Okay. The second notation bit that I want to introduce is I want to introduce a notation for uh, f and a. I'm going to let f sigma like this be defined to be equal to uh, f tensor with one. Okay. And so there are some rules here. So the rules are the rules using this notation are the following. Um, the rules are so that if I have um, let's say R and R and F and A, then we, the, the most important rule is that uh, like this here, this is sigma R of uh, F of sigma. Okay. And then you have the other rules, you know, that, that also with the tensor product. So uh, let's say F, so F1 plus F2 of sigma, right? You have just like the usual things. Okay, and you also have, uh, so that there exists a, a kind of a scalar multiplication here, right? So here on, uh, uh, so th th this exists. So this, okay, so I don't need an equality here. So but that there is a scalar multiplication on the outside of this. Um, okay, and here F1 and F2 are also, are also elements of A. Okay, so there's kind of a calculus like you can do with these things, uh, and it makes it so this little notation makes it so that this is less confusing, uh, I think. Okay, so um, let me give you another uh, let me give you another example um, of what this thing looks like, of what these things look like. Um, so suppose A looks like um, R of x1 to xn modulo some equations f1 to fe so we have e equations okay uh these fi these guys are in here of course okay so then a of sigma uh well it turns out that uh this guy here well this looks like r of x1 to xn over f over f1 Fe, and then we tensored, and then we're twisting uh, with uh, R's here. Okay, and so what you can do is you can um, you can prove 
that this guy here is actually equal to, let me write this down, xn, uh, so this is isomorphic to this, and then we what we do is we twist each one of these guys, e sigma, okay? And so here, of course, if, if uh, f uh, looks like, or let's say, let's say g is uh, x1 to xn, looks like a sum of r alpha, let's say x to the alpha. And so here we're using multi-index notation and then alpha, alpha one to the alpha n, and then x to the alpha is what you expect it to be. Um, then uh, we're doing over alphas, then if I do uh, a sigma here, so what we're really going to do is just twist the coefficients. So, so this is a with twisted coefficients. Okay. So, um, so the the twisted version of um, so the twisted version of your variety just twists the the coefficients of your equations. Okay, by your endomorphism.